Welcome back to Vancouver Carpenter. Today's video is a pretty simple one. Changing the blade on your circular saw. So yeah, as you can see, this blade's getting a little toasted. I think it still has all the teeth, but it's just not as sharp as it once was. And you know, feels nice to have a nice new blade on here. So there's not too much you need to change a blade. I usually just use a crescent wrench because I never have like the tool that comes with the saw. All that sort of stuff gets lost almost instantaneously. Um, but yeah, crescent wrench, new blade. I like these Diablo blades. Um, if you're interested in any, link in the description below. So it's pretty simple. The first thing you need to find is this guy and the sticker on your finger. But on every saw, there will be one of these. So what that does is you have to hold it down. So sometimes when changing a blade, it can actually be easier to wedge the guard up. Oh, and um, number one, step number one is make sure you're unplugged. Please make sure your tool is unplugged. Okay, but you can wedge up the guard like this and that'll just make it a little easier to work in here. So again, find your little button, turn it, and then you're gonna feel the button slide in further. Now it's locked. So a larger crescent wrench should actually be a little easier than this silly little one I'm using because I'm risking cutting up my knuckles if I slip. So this one is a half inch and this is a typical, um, it's not a reverse thread. Only sliding miter saws, or I should say miter saws in general, have reverse threads. So it's just a righty tighty, lefty loosey. So it's as simple as putting it back on. Make sure you have all the teeth facing this way. The only time you would ever reverse it is if you're doing vinyl siding. So vinyl siding, you actually use a backwards blade because um, if you use it going forwards, the teeth, the vinyl, the thin vinyl will just get stuck in the teeth and just tear it all to crap. So anyways, now we're almost there. Get this part back on, get this on. And the thing about the way these are threaded is you definitely want it tight, right? But it doesn't need to be so ridiculously tight. Just good hand tight, right like that. And then it'll also tighten up a little more as you work with it because of the direction of the threads. Okay, so let's make sure this actually works. Oh yeah, and safety stuff, blah, blah, blah. That's nice. Nice clean cut, nice fresh blade. Gotta like that. Anyways, that is how you change a blade on a, I always want to say skill saw because that's what they've come to be known as. But this one is a circular saw. Skill saw is a brand and the other one's a worm drive saw, which I've never used. We don't use them here in the West coast of Canada. Um, you can buy them. Some guys use them, but generally everyone here uses circular saws. So that's what I grew up using. It's what I still use to this day. Anyways, I want to say thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. Uh, I hope I didn't take too long to get to the useful part of this video and uh, hope you're doing well. And when you're done with these, you give them to your kids as throwing stars. Till the next one.